Hello and welcome back. Now we are going to be covering in this video uh, part two of turning your infographic PLR into income or any content from an infographic. As long as you have the rights and the and to uh, use it, uh, you will be able to work through the series and then turn it into content that you will be able to either sell or build your brand. Now, what we're going to be discussing today is uh, keyword keyword research, and you do need to do a little research and understand your niche. You do have to understand your potential audience. Now, there are two articles that I'm going to suggest that you read. I want you to go over to SlideShare and pick up this slide so that you will be able to follow along, and then you'll be able to get the articles and read them for yourself. Now, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be demonstrating how these things are going to work into this process that we're going to be using to turn your infographic PLR into an actual product or something that will help you to build your brand or drive traffic to your site. It's very important for you to, uh, at, at the very least, understand what your niche is asking. So in this particular case, if we are looking at PLR that is being used for motivation, we want to be able to tailor that to our niche, or we want to be able to talk through this, uh, this concept with people who are interested in motivation or people who are going to be interested in uh, personal development. So again, you want to check out these two articles that I have here and they are going to help you to get a broader picture of what I'm going to be just demonstrating here in this video. Now the first uh, place where I'm going to suggest that you look at or site that you look at is going to be YouTube itself. Now why are we going to be looking at YouTube keyword tools and research tools? Mainly because one of the things things that I'm going to be suggesting that you do, if you're going to be using any other tool or site to promote, I'm going to suggest that you start with YouTube. And there, and that is for a number of reasons, mainly the shareability of the content and the ease at which you can produce something that is going to be of quality that people are going to be able to watch. So I'm going to suggest that a lot of these things are going to center around video. They're going to center around video content creation. And so that is why we're going to be talking about YouTube in particular now I'm going to show you uh, pretty much one of the first things that I suggest that you look at which are the YouTube search filters inside of the niche that you are going to be working with now what you're looking at here is you are looking at a search that I conducted using the term uh, internet marketing now obviously you're not going to need use a term nearly that broad and obviously this is a very competitive term but I do want to use the filter feature so that I can show you exactly how this works now what we are going to do is we are going to go to this tag or to this drop down menu and then we are going to click the filter button and when you click the filter button a couple of things are going to happen we can do some reconnaissance based on what we want to find out about the kind of videos that people are actually watching. We can actually have them sorted by relevance. We can have them sorted by the latest one. We can have them sorted by how many people are watching. And this is going to be key because you want to find out, okay, well, which vi uh, videos are people watching? How do they get traffic to them? And so what this allows you to do inside of your niche for your term is to go and do reconnaissance. You can look at the videos that people are watching and that people are rating high. Which kind of videos do people like? What have they done like? So again, so that you can start to create videos that people are really going to be interested in. So you start with your term and then you go to the filter button and then you want to start taking a look at what these things actually tell you. Make sure to take notes. Now, let's go to the next research tool. Now, the next tool is, is one that we could probably spend an entire video uh, all by step on. I'm only going to spend a brief period of time here. I want you to go to this site and explore it and to make sure that you understand it, again, in relevance to your niche. Okay, you're going to go to the site, google.com forward slash trends, and you are then going to go inside of this link that says explore in depth. So go ahead and click that link. Now, once you're inside of Google Trends, you are going to explore according to the parameters that you want here. You're going to put your term um, right here. So in other words, wherever it's, where it says to add a term, that is where you're going to put your, uh, put your, your niche or your, short, your, your search term. And so 
I'm going to go ahead and put in here, I'm going to click add term, and then I'm going to put in here dog training. Right, the quintessential <laughs> internet marketing example term. Okay, so I'm going to put in there dog training. And then uh, I'm going, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my top bar in order to narrow down what I'm doing. And so uh, what I want to do here is I want to make sure that I am looking at the niche that I actually want to cover. Therefore, I'm not going to look, I'm not going to search worldwide. I'm going to search within the United States. I'm not going to search 2004 up till now and get almost 10 years of data. I'm only going to get the present year. Right. I probably only want a few years and I probably really only want a few months if I'm really going to be looking for uh, the most relevant data. I might go past 90 days. I might go the past 12 months to get a real sense for the trend. Um, I might only search for dog training inside of certain categories. Now, in this particular case, I'm going to leave those categories open. But again, you have that option so that if you want to target a particular term, but only want to target amongst a, a, a definite and definitive kind of, of subject matter, you can use the category feature so that your term is only searched within there. Now, here's the key uh, where you want to be, uh, you want to kind of be discerning. Now, you can look, and you should really look at all of these searches. You should look at the web search, right, for your term. You should look at the image search for your term so that you can see what other images are, are out there. You can look at the news. You should look at YouTube. And each and every one of these sections are going to give you, uh, these are going to give you different results and they're going to give you different conclusions. You are trying to determine what your niche is thinking. You are trying to determine what people want to know. You are trying to determine what it is that they are coming to the internet to search for. And so you need to do this in each and every one of these sections. Now, I'm going to just right now do a web search. You'll have to remember to do it in all of those sections. Now, when I do that and I do a web search, here is what happens. I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom. And what I'm going to see here is a couple of things. I'm going to see an area called related searches, and I'm also going to see an area called rising searches. Now, in this particular case, here's what I want to do. I want to determine what searches are rising fast. And so, in other words, I'm going to then click this button that says rising, and you can see here that here are two terms. Here are two topics that are still rising in popularity or have been over the past 12 months. These are terms that we want to check out, and you would want to check out those terms within your niche. So you want to take a look at all four of these things, rising searches, top searches in the query area rising searches and top searches in the topic area because they will give you a sense for what people are actually looking for and searching for. Now, of course, anytime you're doing niche research and you're doing keyword research on the internet, you are always going to be using the Google AdWords keyword planner and display tool. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Everything is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, you are going to go through your uh, keywords and get a sense again what keywords are people really searching for and what is it that people are really hungering for in terms of information so you'll need to go inside of your google adwords account look for the adwords keyword tool and then you will take a look at the kind of information that the google adwords keyword tool gives you again i'm not going to spend a lot of time on that right here what we'll just do is we'll just click this link and then we're going to be given this uh information and what we're going to do here, once we get it, is we are literally going to uh, then uh, just go to the link down here and do the actual search. Now, I've got in here, can you half dollar? Um, you can do whatever your niche is and whatever your search is. You are going to use that particular uh, term, and then you're going to get some information. Now, obviously, this information was really made for people who are going to be doing paid advertising, but you will get a sense what people are really searching for. You can look for ad group ideas. You can look for keyword ideas. Both will give you an indication of where the market for this information is. Now, when you're looking for the most recent information, what you're going to be looking at uh, is particularly inside of YouTube as well as Google. The same feature is there. We're going to be looking at the auto-suggest feature. 
and uh, I'm going to show you how to use that here in a minute. Again, you probably used it in passing. You probably haven't really paid attention to it in terms of what it can tell you about the market, in terms of what it can tell you about your keyword, or what it can tell you about what people are really searching for. So let's take a look at it now. Now what I'm here inside of YouTube is simply going to start typing in my keyword and I'm going to start typing out some phrases so that Google or YouTube can give me some give me some hints on what people are searching for. Now I've typed in the word motivation, but I'm going to actually push in uh, the uh, space bar and I'm going to start typing in the word F O R. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow YouTube to show us what well, what are uh, what are people searching for that 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 gives us uh, information about this term motivation for studying motivation for students motivation for success so if your niche or your product was about motivation you would be able to use this feature to figure out okay well what are people looking for inside of YouTube and this is a great way for you to be able to know and really get a sense for the cutting edge information cutting edge uh, research on what people are actually searching for right now so you should use YouTube suggest to your advantage now in the slide and in the handout I've actually got there uh, an indication that or I've got a link there to uh, the site SERP stats and SERP stats is also going to help you because you're going to be able to get a sense once again of what is really happening inside of YouTube and Google Suggest. Now SERP stats is going to come up there. What you're going to do here is you are going to type in your keyword. I'm going to type in motivation. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do a search with this uh, with, with this tool. Now here's what's going to happen. We're going to get we're going to get a different kind of information, a different way of looking at that Google uh, at that Google uh, suggest information. Now, one of the things that SERPstat does for us is it allows us to look at only questions and phrases. So we can actually step out, uh, separate out uh, the questions. So let's click the, the uh, questions link or only questions link. And so what we start to get is how motivation works, how the motivation works in the brain, how motivation is driven by purpose. And these are things that people are looking for. So if we can provide this information, we're going to be have a leg up on uh, on our competitors and be able to uh, really uh, key in on where the market for the information that we have truly is. So surf stats, we want to look at also. And again, there's a link there in the actual document that's connected to this video. Now, one other place that we can explore is literally Google Plus gives us the ability to be able to search through posts and really get a sense once again for what's being posted to its social network. Now, again, now Google Plus is not the entire universe of social media, but it does really uh, have a large following. Obviously, it's a social network uh, from Google, and it will give us again a sense for where the market's head is what are they thinking what are they typing into what are they sharing on social media so in order to find it where you're going to go is plus.google.com forward slash explore and then you're going to be putting your search term into this bar where it says search for people posts or pages and you're going to be able to literally explore uh, this area of Google Plus once again it's a different way of looking at the information but again it could paint a, an entirely different picture of our keyword and our actual niche okay now one more tool that uh, I suggest you look at is going to be the term is uh, the uh, site Scythe and uh, uh, we're going to take a look at that site now. Uh, probably may not, it may not be one that you've heard of, one that you use on a regular basis, but it does have its own helpful uh, uh, side to giving us that full picture of what our niche is looking for and searching for online. Now, one of the things that Site does is it allows you to search, let's say, Twitter feeds and Google Plus feeds to, to find, find out which videos are being referenced and 
you do that for your keyword term. So it's really a, a good, not just a mashup, but a real sense for some exact information in particular with some of the video content that you're going to be sharing on some of these other social networks. It might be a little clunky in terms of determining what the actual uh, search results are for a particular video in your niche. So this is a great tool to, to, to really cut across a number of networks, but yet get that specific information that you want. Okay, so this is going to be how you're going to do that research inside of the niche to determine how to structure your content in order to figure out the slant on it, in order to figure out where you need to focus it or who you need to sell it to or who you want to use it to attract. Um, this will really give you a sense, not, ju not just for uh, 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 the exact keywords you can use to rank, you really want to use this information to determine what do people want to know? Where is, where is their mind frame? And how are, they, how are they taking that mind frame, coming to the internet, and trying to access information? So this has been uh, probably the first step. You'll need to take this step in order to really tailor that infographic PLR to something that's going to be useful to somebody and really turn it into a great product. So I hope that this has been helpful for you. What I'd like for you to do is to make sure that you, uh, you click the like on this video, that you share this video with your friends on all of your social networks, and that you subscribe to our channel. And all you've got to do is go right down here below this video, hit the subscribe button, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video in this series. Now, there is a link in the description area or on my site that will tell you where you can get this, uh, this particular PDF in order to use. Now, if you want the MP3 version, um, that MP3 version is available. And the way you get that MP3 version is you can go to one of two places. You can either go to gainmindshare.com forward slash PLR training and you can get it or you can go to our wealthy PLR site and put your name and email address in there and then you will get all of the MP3s as soon as they are made available. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.